Hello everyone, it's me Arvind catching you on another Man Twitter Edu's lecture video. Okay, in this lecture video, I'm going to discuss a new subtopic within the quadratic functions, which is the quadratic inequalities. Okay, by the way, in the previous lecture video, I've already finished cover through the sum of roots and product of roots concept. Okay, if you haven't watched that video first, okay, I have included in the link above, so you can click that video and watch that uh, lecture video, guys. Okay, so now we're going to cover the quadratic inequalities but before that okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a recap on the quadratic equations okay so once you have the recap on the quadratic equations then i'm going to teach you on the quadratic inequalities okay so let us begin our lecture video now okay so this is the recap on what you have learned so far okay so let's say let me just write a random quadratic equation okay for example like x square um, minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 okay so let's say the question asks us to uh, find the roots of x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 so how are you going to find the roots so we're going to perform the factorization okay it's very straightforward so what you're going to do is we're going to factorize this quadratic equation so you will get here x minus 2 okay and then the bracket x minus 3 equals to 0 okay and then from here it will branch out into two separate working where you get x minus 2 equals to 0 okay and as for over here you get x minus 3 equals to 0 towards the final answer you get your x equals to 2 and x equals to 3 okay so this is how you solve the quadratic equation actually this step is just an extra working for your understanding guys okay for those of you who doesn't know how you get here from here to immediately this answer okay you actually undergo one extra working but this uh, working you can omit it okay it is understood that okay x minus 2 in the bracket x minus 3 equals to 0 you immediately get x equals to 2 and x equals to 3 okay so this is the recap now you might be asking me so why you're showing me this working this one i've already learned long time ago okay there is a reason why am i showing you this recap okay some of you students will try to apply this quadratic equations concept into the quadratic inequalities okay where it won't work okay why it won't work i'm going to tell you later on in this lecture video but now what i'm going to do is okay i'm going to teach you a method we're going to use to solve this quadratic inequalities which is the graph sketching method okay so i'm going to teach you that graph sketching method first and then i'm going to explain you why you should not use this uh, quadratic equation method in order to solve this quadratic inequalities okay so are we clear okay so let us begin our lecture video now okay so in this quadratic inequalities we're going to use the graph sketching method so let me just write here graph sketching method okay and let me underline it okay so in this graph sketching method there are two methods that you need to understand so technically you need to memorize them in order for you to solve this quadratic inequalities unfortunately there's no shortcut in it so you need to understand the concept of the graph sketching method but no worries it is very straightforward i'm going to teach you how to apply this graph sketching method okay let's say have x minus a okay and then you have x minus b okay since we are dealing with quadratic inequalities okay let's say i put a symbol uh, less than zero okay what if you have x minus a in the bracket x minus b less than zero okay like i said you cannot use this uh, typical quadratic equation method so how are you going to apply the quadratic inequalities method okay so we are going to perform the graph sketching method so how are you going to do that okay let me show you now okay so let me just sketch a graph okay let me just quickly draw this okay right okay and then you just draw a quadratic curve 
Okay, simple sketch would do. No need to be so fancy. Okay. So this minus A, technically it will be over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And this minus B and it will represent as B over here. Okay. So here you have A. Here you will have B. Okay, the A, B is representing the roots of the quadratic equation. But then since it is involving an inequality less than 0. Okay, so in this case, we need to perform the shading. But the question is, where are we going to shade within this uh, sketch? Okay, actually we are going to shade over here under the graph. Okay, this under the graph is the part that we are going to shade. Okay. So when x minus a times x minus b less than 0, okay, so you need to perform this sketch. Okay, you need to draw this and then you need to show that the a and b is over here. Okay, and this is the region. Okay, the below region is the region where it satisfies this inequality. Okay, so after you do this, you can't just leave your answer in this way. You need to write a proper mathematical answer. So how are you going to do that? Okay, so in this case, when you have a come across with this type of uh, problem so it will be a less than equals to x less than equals to b so this will be your answer okay so technically x is more than a but less than b so that's why you have this range below the graph so this is the range where it satisfies this condition okay so this is for the first part how about for the second part okay this is for the less than zero how about when you have x minus a okay times with x minus b more than zero okay same you need to sketch a graph okay so let me just quickly sketch the graph Wait. Okay. All right. Okay. So from here, since you have x minus a times x minus b more than zero, so we need to perform the shading. So the question is, where are we going to perform the shading? Okay. The answer is it will be above the graph. Okay. For less than zero, it will be below the graph. Okay. For more than zero, it will be above graph. Okay. So don't forget to write the a and b. A and B <clears throat> but then since it's more than 0 so we will be performing the shade outside the graph okay remember guys okay it should be above and outside so it will be in this type of shape okay So for this, you also have a condition, but this condition is bit special. So you need to write them separately, okay, where it will be x less than a. Okay, why x less than a? So as you move towards the left, okay, your value will be lesser. Okay, so you, when you move further in the negative region, it will be less value. Okay, so that is why you have x less than a or x more than b okay so this is your b as you move towards to the right your value b will be more okay that's why you have an x more than b okay so this condition is only applicable when your x minus a times x minus b more than zero okay so let me just underline this as well okay let me move it over here okay now you will have a question so what if you have less than equal and more than equal okay the answer is they are just the same the only thing is a it will be less than equal to x x less than equal to b you just add the symbol over here they are the same okay the working is just the same whether it is less than or less than equal to or more than more than equal to they are the same okay since you have more than equal to zero so it will be either either your x less than equals to a or x more than equal to 
B. Okay, so this is the quick explanation regarding the uh, quadratic inequality using the graph sketching method. Okay, so I hope you remember that I've told you that we cannot use this recap method. So why we cannot use this recap method? Okay, I'm going to tell you now. So we're going to use this example and we're going to try to use this quadratic equation method. So let's say the same example x square minus 5x plus 6. Um, let's say you have less than 0. Okay. So once you encounter this type of quadratic inequality, so the first thing you need to do is perform the factorization. Okay, so you break this into two. So from here you get is x minus two. Okay, and then times with x minus three less than zero. Okay. Now since you decided that oh I've learned in the quadratic equation, I'm going to apply that concept over here. So some of the students they tend to do this x minus two less than zero. Okay, and then over here it will be x minus three less than zero. Okay, so you're working basically split it into two parts. So from here you get x less than zero, I mean less than two or x less than three. Okay, so the student will come up with this type of answer. Okay, what is the problem in this type of answer? Okay, the problem in this type of answer, only one of your answer will be correct. The other answer will be wrong. Okay, in this case, I can sure tell you only this answer will be correct. This one will be wrong. Okay, why is it wrong? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to solve this question using the graph sketching method. Okay, the same method we're going to use. I mean the same question, but now we're going to use the graph sketching method. Okay. So using graph sketching method, okay, so let me just uh, use the same diagram over here. Okay, and then change this into the roots of 2 and 3 respectively 2 and 3 okay based on what we learned in the uh, methods in the graph sketching method okay whenever you have this type of uh, shading okay that means your final answer will be 2 less than equals to x less than equals to 3 okay this is your final answer Okay, take a look at this method over here. Okay, in this method, you have x less than 2 or x less than 3. But then over here, 2 less than equals to x less than equals to 3. So what does this mean? Okay, in this method, yes, it's true that x is less than 3. Okay, it's correct. One of your answers is correct. But then take a close look over here. It mentioned 2 less than x. What does that mean? If 2 less than x, that means your x is more than 2. But then here is x is less than 2. That means this answer is wrong. Okay. So that is the reason why you should not apply this method to solve the quadratic inequalities. I hope you guys are clear now. Okay. So this is the quick uh, explanation regarding the quadratic inequalities okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain you with two examples okay I'm going to discuss you with some questions so in this example one okay let's say the question asks you to find the range of inequalities okay of x minus 1 okay times x minus 2 uh, more than 6 okay so how are you going to solve this okay the first step what you need to do is whenever you encounter in this type of question so you expand the bracket 
okay you perform the expansion so from here you should be getting uh, x square okay so negative 2x minus x so it be minus 3x okay and then okay negative 1 times it negative 2 it will be positive 2 okay more than 6 okay now for this next step what you do this 6 from the right hand side you move it to the left hand side so from here x square minus 3x okay so negative i mean 2 minus 6 it will be negative 4 more than 0 okay <clears throat> okay now what you do you perform the factorization okay so from here it will be x minus 4 okay and then x plus 1 more than 0 <clears throat> okay take a look guys okay now we are dealing with more than 0 okay x minus 4 in a bracket x plus 1 more than 0 okay but before that let me double check first huh, guys okay x square um, okay x for x3 okay okay it's correct okay so once you solve until here okay the next step what you do is you use the graph sketching method so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this diagram since it followed this uh, condition okay so from here it will be negative 1 and 4 okay make sure it's in the correct order guys okay you start with the negative value and then you move to the positive value okay don't put 4 here and then negative 1 at the right hand side okay it will be wrong Okay, make sure you put the negative value on the left hand side and in the positive i mean in the right hand side you put the positive value okay so from here you do the uh, graph sketching method okay from here you will know that your x should be less than negative one or your x should be more than i mean your x should be less than negative one or x should be more than four Okay, so this is your answer for example 1. Okay, so I hope you understand the example 1. Okay, let me discuss another one more. I mean another example. Okay, example 2. Okay, for example 2. Okay, let me... I use this example where 3x square minus 5x minus 2 less than equals to 0. Okay. So from here, let us perform the factorization. So let me open up my calculator. Okay. Mode. So okay, click number 5 equation. So okay ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 okay that's number 3 so from here your a will be 3 your b will be negative 5 your c will be negative 2 okay so from here when you write out in the equation so it will be 3x uh, plus 1 okay and then x minus 2 less than equals to 0 okay because this one you need to factorize okay from here you get 3x plus 1 and then times it x minus 2 okay why is it so because okay your first x value you get is negative 1 over 3 Okay, in order to get your root negative 1 over 3, okay, you need to set your 3x plus 1 in the factorization. Okay, this is for the first one. Okay, actually the order doesn't matter, guys. Okay. Wait, uh. Okay, so x1, since here you have a positive value, your root is positive. Okay, in the calculation, you have your x minus 2. Okay, so I hope you understand the concept of this. Okay, once you get this, so the next step what you do you perform the sketching since it is a uh, less than 
equal so you're going to use this shape of the graph okay for this lecture video okay i'm just copy paste the diagram guys okay but when you are doing when you're attempting the question okay you need to do the uh, sketching okay so from here your left hand side root will be negative 1 over 3 okay or your right hand side will be 2 okay so from here your final answer will be negative 1 over 3 less than x less than 2 so this is your range of your uh, inequality quadratic inequality so where you have negative 1 over 3 less than x less than 2 let me underline this solution and don't forget to put the equal sign okay that was close guys okay so since you have a uh, less than equal okay make sure you put the equal sign here so that means your answer will be negative negative 1 over 3 less than equals to x less than equals to 2 thank god okay so that is all we have come to the end of our lecture video for today so i hope i hope you understand the concept of quadratic inequalities and plus the example that we have discussed today so if you like this video make sure that you give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming uh, admats lecture videos in the future and make sure that you share this video to your friends thank you everyone for your support and i'll see you in the next video